Um, Christmas is one of my favorite times of year, um, and I guess the the the, Chris, the lighting of the, the roundabout here is something that helps us to bring in the Christmas season. When you turn on the round or the lights on the roundabout, you see people's faces light up. Um, I mean, we've already witnessed people taking pictures as um, as the lights were coming on. So it's um, the community really loves this project, and it's great. It's a great initiative that the club once again has put this on uh, because it does help to bring the Christmas cheer into the BVI. Uh, we don't get to see enough lights anymore, so I I'm really proud of our club for once again taking this on. And this is again a project of the Rotary Club of Road Town that we do every year to bring light to the central roundabout in the middle of Road Town in Tortola. This is an initiative really to add Christmas joy to the community. I mean, it's not it's not a fundraising activity and things like that that people seem to be synonymous with with Rotary and things, uh, but it's one where we give back to the community and help to bring the Christmas spirit in into the um, into the community lights is always a symbolic um, a symbolic moment of the Christmas season and it's great to see when the lights come on for that first time the, the glow on people's faces and there it is and with it well now we're out again we're still testing the lights we're, we're yes this is one of those things that's really just community participation yeah. As you know a couple of nights ago the lions lit the Christmas tree at Sir Oliver George's Plaza so tonight the Rotary Club of Road Town is lighting the central roundabout and pretty soon if it's not on already the Rotary Club of Tortola will be lighting the roundabout at Purcell. A lot of times we go to the community to solicit funds for community projects or you know we have fundraisers for the Rotary Foundation but this is really just us participating in celebrating Christmas with the BVI community. So no no ulterior motives, no extra anything. No. Just getting involved and no. being a part of the community here in the BVI. Now this is one of those projects that every single year I look forward to. Um, it's, it's a great project to bring the club together. And then like I said before, it's great to see the, the project more or less take on its own life when the lights come on and, and really bring in that Christmas cheer and helping to create the Christmas atmosphere here in the BVI. But, uh, but we've, it's needless to say we've been doing it a long time. Um, it's, it, it, it is one that is synonymous with, with the Rotary Club of Road Town. We've always done the central roundabout here in town. Um, it's a big roundabout, but it, it's very much it's very much at focus for, for it, and you can't miss it. Once it's lit up, you can't miss it. It probably started pretty soon after our charter, which was about 25 years ago. As a matter of fact, our 25th anniversary is coming up on the 7th of January 2016. So I'd venture to say that we've been doing it for almost as long as we've been in existence as a club. There's always, there's always the weather issue. Um, it, it, the, the, the Caribbean always has, a, has its own level of um, difficulties it's, it's with, with salt. Season. It's a rainy season. It's a rainy season around December yeah. normally. Yes. And, and, and metal and salt don't really mix, especially right. with fine, fine And filaments. electrical wiring and rain yes. don't mix that uh, great no. when they're out in the element throughout the rainy season. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so there's always, there's always that element and not to mention, I mean, these trees grow every single year. They get higher and higher. Um, so they require more lights in order to um, to get to the to, top. To get to the top. So yes, uh, they're, I mean they're minor. They're minor difficulties, but uh, they're they're good difficulties to have because the higher these trees are, um, the the more years that go by, the more lights that we sort of uh, that we sort of uh, collect, and, and the more that we can do. And every now and again, we change the design. Normally, we'll repeat a, a design for a couple, two or three years in a row and then switch it up and do something new. And even when we repeat a design, we adjust it a little bit from year to year. So, but I have to say, every time I've participated in this project, it, it's been rainy when we've been installing the lights. <laughs> we tried to, to get it lit by about the 1st of December. Some, sometimes uh, we're a bit later, uh, but we, we, always, we always partner with the, the, Lions, uh, the Lions Club to make sure that 
once they do their lighting of the um, of the Christmas tree and so all of enjoy this plaza, we try to follow that very closely behind. So we try to coincide our lighting somehow with with theirs as well. So, but we're usually right around the first of December. I just want to I just want to wish everybody a very merry Christmas. Um, all the best for the holiday season. Remember that the true meaning of Christmas is the birth of Jesus, and, and I don't want that to be forgotten during this Christmas season. Uh, we, we focus a lot on gift giving and presents, but really the true meaning of Christmas is that this is the birth, is celebrating the birth of Jesus, and to be with friends and to be with family and things like that. So um, I do want to wish everybody in the BVI community and, and around whoever's watching, uh, a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy yourself, stay safe, uh, but, all, but uh, w if you're going to celebrate, uh, certainly celebrate with friends and family. And be safe. Absolutely. We want so, to see everybody in 2016. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the Rotary Club of Roadtown. Yeah.